Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alan, AKA The Bird Bane. In this quick video, I wanna talk about the step-by-step -step guide on how to harness train your parrot so that you can start uh, enjoying more quality time with him or her, being able to take her outside, or him outside, being able to take them to the park, to the beach, wherever you wanna go. It definitely makes owning a parrot way more fun and fulfilling, and it also helps your uh, little guy uh, learn how to experience the world and not just be uh, stuck about, stuck inside or in a cage all day, right? So uh, with Alfie, as you guys might already know, he is an older Senegal parrot. He's 10 years old. I got him when he was an adult bird. Um, pretty much didn't really get out of the cage much. Uh, was in a cage for like three years, didn't really get out. So I really have to work with him and build his confidence. And one of the things that I absolutely wanted to learn how to do was how to harness train him so that I can start taking him out with me and just take him outside, get some sun and experience uh, new adventures. So with that being said, it was definitely a process. And at the end of the day, you're going to want to know your bird and read your bird's body language to be able to, um, you know, go at their pace without getting them too nervous or too scared and making them stressed out uh, during out, during this experience. So aside from fl free flight, I would say harness training is definitely on top of the list uh, when you get your new parrot or if you already have one, more than like tricks and other stuff, while the tricks are important, mental stimulation, it's also great to be able to take them outside and it's just gonna make your relationship with your parrot way more fun. So uh, with Alfie, the way that I started was uh, number one with a clicker and a, so it was a clicker and a here, that simply makes the sound. Uh, when the sound clicks, the parrot gets a reward and then the targeting stick so that they can come to the stick and basically know, hey, when I come to that stick, see how he's doing it now, uh, a treat's coming. That's how you signal clearly your parrot that whatever that you're having them do is good and they're gonna get a treat for that and that's what we call positive reinforcement. So this is what you're gonna need first. And aside from that, I wanna show you the actual uh, harness that I use myself. So this one, I think, uh, is a harness that I got on Amazon, but uh, the way that it, work, that it works, it looks a little confusing. Um, there is two parts to it. Uh, one of them, that, that, which is a loop to be able to uh, open and close it, like so. Uh, this part here that you see is where your parrot's head goes through, the small loop and a V-shape. And then one wing goes under here, and the other wing goes through here. Once they're both through, you cinch it up, and you would have the harness on your parrot. So uh, then this part here goes to your belt loop so that you can uh, you know cl clasp it on or sometimes I, you, I do it with the wrist but you know if, if you can have your hands free that would be ideal. So this is kind of how I started with Alfie. Now when I first showed this to Alfie he was extremely scared of this harness and he wouldn't even come close to it. So I'm going to show you how to walk through it step by step uh, in just a second and how I did it with Alfie. Um, and you always want to make this exercise incremental. It can take weeks, sometimes months to f fully get, you know, your parrot used to the harness and not attacking it. And even now, you know, Alfie will go a very long time without a attacking his harness, but then he will still go about, you know, after uh, a couple minutes or an hour it goes by, he'll like, you know, get agitated by it and start trying to bite it. So that's something that we're still working on now. Uh, even, you know, Alfie and I that work on this a lot. So the name of the game is to be patient and to make sure that you don't rush it, right? That's going to be super important. So uh, let me walk you through how to do it. Oh, and by the way, uh, it doesn't matter how old your parrot is, you can still harness train your parrot. When you have a baby bird or one that's younger, they're, they're going to be much more forgiving with things you bring around them because they're like babies are still experiencing uh, everything is new to them. So you might get away with just putting it directly on your baby parrot um, and them not really making a fuss because they're, they're, you know, they're young. But if not, you can still follow these steps, which I'm about to show you in just a second. So this is the uh, first phase of what I did. You have your clicker in one hand and your targeting stick in the same hand. I usually put it through like this so I'm able to click and conceal it. But uh, what I did first and what you want to do with your targeting stick is, you know, let your parrot know that you have a treat. And then if they're scared of the harness, you want to desensitize to them to it. So what you can do is extend this out. And when they come by and it's close to your hand, you click and they get a little treat. There you go, buddy. Come here. Yeah, okay. He's a, he's a little scared because I have uh, some lights set up and there's a lot of uh, unknown environments to him. So that's how I did it. You know, I first just started off by doing that and then I would make this stick a little bit shorter, the targeting stick, and I'd still have him come by. Elfie, come. And then he would come by. 
you'd get another treat, like so. And then gradually, I took off, I took out the stick completely, and I basically just made him come to the harness itself. And you don't want to put the harness in front of your parrot. You want him to walk over. Elfie, come. Touch. Touch. And touch it by themselves. Because if you give them, if you shove it in their face, then you're technically not doing anything for them and having them come closer to you to do it. Um, so that's the best way. And then from there, this is going to take, a, it might take a couple sessions. It might take a week for them just to not be scared to walk over. Touch. For them not to be scared to walk over and as you gradually uh, they get more comfortable you know you want to assess it you will be able to then the next step would be to take the big part of this loop not the uh, small part this is probably the uh, scariest part it looks kind of crazy right now i just took the big end of the loop and then i would put it around alfie's head and then reward him and give him a treat oh you got little crumbs buddy come here Healthy come. And I would just do this. Take it off really fast. Click. Good bird. And then that shows them, oh, hey, when this thing comes on me, there's no harm. It's actually a positive thing. And you want to keep doing that. Um, and then from there, you would transition. And then what I did is I made this loop smaller. Right? And again, this is happening over a few sessions. Sometimes it might even take a few weeks until they get comfortable doing this. So then I would take this top end, so this is where the head goes through, this is where the wing goes through, and this is where the other wing goes through, it technically sits like this. I would just put it on their head, and you want to make sure that they come in and put their head in themselves. See how he's coming in? And then I would cinch it up a little. Good bird, buddy. Do it like that. Give him his little treat. And then he, got, he starts getting used to uh, the harness. Uh-oh, you're okay, buddy. He's a little freaked out right now because it's hanging on him. Good bird. And from there, gradually, what you would do next is um, be able to put that on your parrot, to put it on, take it off, and then have longer durations where they have it on. So then you would have them come back again. Come here, buddy. Yeah, scary, huh? Come here. And then I would have them do that. Step up. Good bird. Oh, I know you're scared. There's a big camera and lights, huh, buddy? Typically, Elfie uh, doesn't really flip out like this, but he's in a kind of new environment, and he's just a little more cautious, as you can see. And you can see his body language. He's a little nervous. He's a little edgy, but, you know, he's fine. Have them uh, put it around his loop, put the loop around their head on the big end, and then what I would do from there is I would have him, and I would pick him up, walk around the house, and I would do things like, Elfie, give him a kiss. Give him a treat, and then just get, just get them comfortable to having that harness on their head um, and around around their body because you know naturally parrots don't have anything around their body ever uh, Let alone a harness that they can't take off And then what I would do is I would then go about taking it off Good bird and then I would click and give a treat come here, buddy And you see how I'm now doing I'm having positive reinforcement with my parrot so I was basically doing this over a course of a few weeks to a few months this whole process process like he's doing it now and it's super fast but when i was working with him it would take days and it would be like five minute sessions ten minute sessions of of him and i just working together doing this and again you want to make sure you work with your parrot when uh it's most motivated to want to listen to your commands like right now it's technically not alfie's lunchtime. maybe he's a little less motivated but that's how that transition happened. I kept putting this loop part around his head, having him have it on him, walk around the house, put him down, and he got used to it. <clears throat> and then from there, I gradually transitioned to finally opening up this loop here. And sometimes this part, he's still a little nervous, but then I would put the loop through here. So I'm not at a good angle, so I'm gonna have to get close to put it on. Oh, good bird. So I would do that, give him the street very briefly and then I would just slide his little head off good bird buddy come here so that was that was uh, generally the process right of how I would do it and uh, the hardest part really is getting that this loop part in through their head uh, and yeah he's a little edgy right now because it's <laughs> all the whole setup um, it would be that aspect of it and then you finally are gonna have to eventually put the harness on. 
Uh, ideally, you'd, you'd have it on them for like a minute or two. They might start biting it a little bit, you know, try to give them treats. Um, once they're not biting it, distract them from doing that. I would walk around the house and then I would take the harness off. So let's see if we can get it on them now. Um, so basically that's, that's what I would do. And the way that you put this harness on is you wanna make sure this loop is out and it's far enough out here to where the parrot can, you can slide both wings through. So this is what I would do. Come here, buddy. Aren't you? He's like, get away from me, human. I don't want that. So you see, when they put their head down and it's like this crouching body language, it, it generally means that they don't want it or they're giving you body language that they are not happy or not comfortable doing that. Ideally, they're gonna pop their head through willingly. Again, when they're more hungry, they're gonna be more receptive to do this once you've uh, built up in these steps. So the way we would put this through is to have this part where the head goes through out so that they can slide their little head in, pop it in like so. Whoops, there you go. Put one wing through, slide out the other end, pull the other one through like so. And that wasn't as smooth as I normally like to do it. And uh, typically I'm not sideways like this, so Elfie's not comfortable with me doing it this way. Then we would cinch it the loop. I'm at a weird angle. Pull it through. And then I would give him a treat, like so, for having it come on. And then he's good to go. You want to make sure that you check under their feathers that nothing's stuck. A good range of motion. And that's basically how you would put it on. And you know, when they first do this, they might start biting the harness a little bit. It's gonna happen naturally as you do it more and more, they're gonna stop biting it, but just make sure to positively reinforce and make sure that they're doing it correctly. And the way, <clears throat> the way we would then take off the harness is we would slide the loop through, like so. Open up the loop, slide it all the way out, pull one wing out, pull the other wing out and then pop the head out and you want to try to do it as a, in as smooth of a motion as possible so that they don't get um so that they don't get um too confused by it but that's the the way that we, we generally would want to do it right make sure we give a treat and it's not always going to be this smooth to be honest uh when i first put that uh harness on Alfie, he, as soon as I put it on, he would just try to attack it and bite it and he wouldn't like it. But I just kept doing it over time, rewarding the positive behavior, um, you know, ignoring the negative behavior. And over time, he just got more and more used to it on and he doesn't bite it as much anymore. Like I said, it's still a work in progress, but that's part of owning a parrot. You know, I'd rather spend a few weeks, a few months getting it right than, you know, not doing it right and you know parrots live for years and years 20 30 years so i think to me it's definitely worth it it's a small uh, investment of time for long-term increased quality of relationship but um another tip that you can do if your parrot is still having problems having the harness on is that you can put the harness on and when it's about time for them to eat their dinner time or when, it, when they're gonna eat, you feed them with the harness on so they get used to having it on and they start rewarding you know, positive behavior like getting food with having the harness on. So that was a big thing that helped Elfie. He would, um, he would be hesitant to put the harness on in the small loop just because it's a confined space. But then I started you know, making sure that when he ate his food, he had the harness on he would uh, rush over and put his head through because it meant that, hey, when I put the harness on, I'm gonna get food. So that's just an example of another thing you can do if your parrot, once you have the harness on and he's still struggling, you know, biting with the harness and uh, attacking it or, you know, biting it, so to speak, but. Alfie's got his harness on. This is something that I use to help train him when he's getting used to his harness. It helped a lot. I'll basically associate the harness with him eating his food, so he looks forward to putting it on. That's uh, that's basically it for this step-by-step -step guide. Again, uh, these steps that I've showed you, they look easy while I'm doing them now, but sometimes it takes time. It can, you know, your parent might do it a little bit faster, it might take a little bit longer, but with Alfie, for example, it took him a few, a few uh, sessions, a few months to really get it on and him not fully attack it, but it was fun for me, so I didn't really see it as like, you know, uh, something that 
was a bad experience. It was more like, you know, all a learning experience, so to speak. Uh, but that's it for this quick video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what you plan to do with your parrot when you harness train uh, him or her. And uh, in the comment section, make sure that you tell me a little bit more about some topics that you want to learn about. That's it for this video. And uh, this is uh, Alan and Alfie signing out. You ready to do a little trick, buddy? Can you spin? Oh, good bird. Spin. Yeah. Can you wave? Good bird. There you go. This is Alan, a.k.a. The Bird Bay, signing out. See you guys next time.